Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Janice, and if you're new here, hi. I hope you enjoy this video and give it a like. Also, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for the notification of my next video, which will be soon. I'm going to do an unboxing of Luxury Divas next video after this. This one is just um, a get ready with me. So this is the look I came up with, just an everyday look. I did use the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson eye palette. I used the mini palette. And uh, I'm still playing around with those colors. It, I mean, the formula's great, okay? And the color story is, I, I like it. I just have to figure out what to do with it. So I'm learning. I think this one turned out pretty good. But if you're interested um, in seeing how I did it, you know, just keep on watching. Uh, so, want to do a little chit chat. I've been down, so this video is probably not real up. I have a hard, I had a hard time with this video. This is after I filmed to get ready with me, because I'm already ready. <laughs> I apologize for that down mood. I'm getting better and in the video you I'll tell you briefly why so if you're interested and you want to just check it out we're half half done get ready with me I did I did the last half off camera <laughs> and mainly because of the noise in the neighborhood of course now that I'm finished they're in the house it's not noisy go figure I can't win <laughs> All right, just keep on watching. <laughs> well, if you're still here, thank you for staying tuned. Today, I'm just going to try out some different makeup I've been wanting to use. I have used some of this and some of it I haven't. Some of this is from past subscription boxes and and things that I've bought recently. Of course, I bought the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson collab. I was one of those who waited online. I believe I waited like two hours to get through a Beautylish, and this is what I got through Beautylish, the Conspiracy palette. And I just love this. And I know you've probably seen this on YouTube everywhere but I wanted to put my two cents worth in you know this this is going on an aging skin and I just want to show you how I look with it so this is the palette and I just love it I was so excited to get this it was like Christmas morning for me I love how it's designed it is bulky but this I'm going to keep as a keepsake and display it. What I want to do is put some small shelves along my office slash beauty room here so I can display my favorite makeup palettes. I finally got my order from Jeffree Star Cosmetic. That took about three weeks I believe and that's when I got the mini controversy. So I've been really not playing with this too much and I also got another conspiracy palette through Jeffree Star I wanted to get the you know the bundle with the lip gloss and liquid lip the I believe it's a pigment I don't remember one of those but it was gone boom like that okay on Beautylish took me about two and a half hours to finally get through I waited in the queue forever once it got back up on Beautylish and then Jeffree Star Cosmetics website took oh, five hours or more and I finally got a gateway and I got in the queue while them erasing everything in the basket I mean throughout the five hours I would get in there and then it disappeared but we all know about that if you watched their last finale of Shane Dawson's series with Jeffree Star so 
If you haven't watched that, it's very interesting. But I was going to say, it took me about six hours total to get what I wanted and could get. So I am going to go ahead and do my eyes first. That's what I always do. So I, I know you probably do my face first so I look better. You know what? I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do my face first. So you have to look at this. So I don't have to look at it either. All right. I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus from Ella Mascar a primer. <laughs> it's really cute. It's got a little spoon. I don't know if you actually use it. It's just a thing that you open it with. A thing. <laughs> A lever you open it with, see, like that. I don't know if it comes apart. Let me see if it does. I don't want to break it. Hmm. No, it doesn't come apart, but it's a jelly. But I always keep on hand some of my little spatulas I got at beauty supply stores to dip in these types of things. And of course, I should have had it handy, and I didn't. Oh, here it is keep that in handy and uh, I'll dip it that way all right I already have my skincare on and I've been I finally got well it's not really PR it's through influencer.com I finally got offered a product to review and I've been reviewing it I believe I'm on my last week and it is by L'Oreal And I've, and I've already got it on. It's the new cream, Age Perfect Cell Renewal. And it is a rosy tone. And I do like it so far. It's thick, really thick. See, see, really, really thick. So, and it gives you like a rosy tone on your face, which is nice. I'm going to try this primer. I'm going to just dip in a little bit. I have a primer similar to this. A jelly primer is from Wet n Wild. And I like it. Um, I'm not that fussy with the primer. Pretty much like all that I've tried. I'm, there might have been one or two I didn't, but I can't remember offhand. Okay. Oh, I finally got a different lens for my glasses so you, don't, so you can see my eyes with my glasses on. The other ones kept getting dark. So I'll go ahead and slap this on. It's nice and cooling. I like wearing primer. It just seems to give my skin a fresh, clean canvas for the makeup foundation to go on. Packy now. It's drying down. I have lots of foundation. I actually ordered a a new foundation on Sephora. I haven't received it yet. It's a Trustique stick. I got this in their Glam Bag Plus highlighter and I just love it. It's so cute. And I got a coupon through Sephora Play last month of October for 20% off foundation or tan moisturizer, CC cream, or BB cream, and I wanted to use it. So I thought, I'm gonna get something I don't have. I will try it. And something I can pop into my bag. When I travel down state to see my girls or check out my business, I can just pop it in my bag. You know, make it simple. The only foundation I got through a subscription bag or box is from Ipsy. Glam Bag Plus, and it's the It Cosmetic Foundation. But I like it, but I don't like it right now. I mean, in the winter time. I like it more in the summer. The Josie Marin Vibrancy. And I bought this because my skin was so dry. And this is supposed to be really nice for dry skin. And what I like to do is pump out my foundation either on the back of my hand or on a little palette I have. I'm going to put it on the palette. I like to shake it up. 
I ran into putting on my foundation with brushes. I was doing the beauty sponges, but I got bored with that, so now I'm doing brushes. I picked this one up from Real Techniques uh, about a month ago, and then I seen this from Real Techniques at TJ Maxx, and I thought it was gorgeous. I'm going to use this one. Just dab it in. Come to find out less is more with foundation. The older I get, it just looks more natural. I like a natural look. Natural and alive. <laughs> I go, we have four seasons here, of course, in Michigan, and skin changes a little bit. Not much, because I'm not a sun lover. I don't go out that much. Maybe we're in the yard a little bit now and then, but I mean, I don't hang out there very long. And I live, I have a lot of trees, so we have a lot of shade. I'm up in the woods here in Michigan. Lots of lakes, lots of trees, a forest actually. Beautiful forest. Um, just maybe, um, I'm at like the gateway to the north, they call it because the farmland is pretty much dissipated right here where we're at. It's just a little south of us where it's open land. Now you get into the thick forest and it is beautiful. I'm using the hand mirror because I found through doing these videos that when I use my other mirror, all I see is the top of my head. So I hope you can see okay. And the reason why I'm making this get ready with me video is because I wanted to maybe get to know, have you get to know me. Hopefully you will comment so I can get to know you. I've got some new subscribers, or at least maybe they're not new, but they've been talking to me. I'm tickled to death. You don't know how that makes my day when you talk to me. I just love it. And you seem so sweet. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> Because you know how the internet can get. But I'm not taking that personal. But so far, so good. I will take the beauty sponge after I do the brush and blot it in. This is a rather dark room. It's all dark wood paneling. And maybe this winter I'll have the ambition to go ahead and paint it. I might try whitewashing it first make it look shabby chic see if I like that so it brightens it up for these videos I do have a area downstairs where I film but I like being up here because I have windows and I can see out in nature it's very beautiful and this basement here where I live is there are no windows it's dark so but it's good when there's a lot of noise outside. I do live in the heart of the town. Okay, I think I think that's good. This is just gonna be an everyday look. I'm not doing nothing glam, no reason to. I mean, I rarely do that. I'm just trying to learn how to do that, just for fun, just make for my videos, maybe some Instagram pictures which I'm trying to post more on Instagram, but it's uh, got to get in the habit of doing things. And by the way, my Instagram handle is jkittycat, that's J-A-K-I-T-T-Y-C-A-T, -T -T, and I'll put it down in the little comments there. So if you want to check out my Instagram, I got a various pictures. There's nothing exciting, but I hope to do more. I might go ahead and open a business account. If I do, I'll let you know what that is. I don't ever know what to say in these get ready with me. So, I'm just ad-libbing. Next, I use a use of con you know, your concealers. And I did grab one. Well, I have them over here. I just use my favorites. I have a bunch in my drawer that I'm not using, but 
I want to I want to use my faves. Of course, my favorite so far is Tart Shape Tape, and then of course I have a couple of Jeffree Star. Two different colors, one C5 and C13. When I first ordered this, it was super super light, so I went online and I wanted to get a C6 or C7. Yeah, they were out, so I thought well, I'll get C13. And if this is too dark, I can mix it. Believe it or not, it's not. But I do like that it's different colors because if I really want to lighten up my eye area, this one works. C5. So C13, it is. I don't I think I have a lot of problems with under eye. It's you know, I have texture of course. You're not gonna get rid of that no matter what you do. I do I guess I have some dark circles, but I don't think it's that bad. So what did I grab? Oh yeah, C thirteen. <laughs> I'm not gonna do bright today. I'm just gonna reinforce what I want that foundation to do. And that is to make me look alive. I don't like putting a lot on. Probably looks like a lot of free on camera, maybe, but it's not really. Now, I do use the brush and I end this for concealer. Something new I've been doing is just try the brush real quick and I do finish off with the beauty sponge. everyone doing we have the holidays right on us this is Sunday before Thanksgiving and this is going to be a busy week for all of us I'm sure tomorrow is Monday my husband and I are going downstate to my daughter who is a veterinarian to get my little Hazel May stitches out of her eye this I don't know if you watched my last video but I was said something happened that I was very upset about. And I'm not gonna go into much detail. I'm just gonna say briefly what happened, so you know. <sighs> she got in an argument with another dog. And she got the worst of it. So she got bit and her right eye came right out. She got right bit right through the back of her eye. So of course I ran her into emergency. That happened in the evening. And they were so wonderful. And they took her right in. Luckily they were not busy. And they took care of her and of course they had to remove the eye. And I was a basket case. I still am. <sighs> anyway, they did a great job and and so she's recovering from that. She's doing really well. Her mom is not doing so good. She's doing really well. So I got myself a little pirate. And I'm sad because of the trauma she had to go through. And the pain. But I did get her to take care of her. I mean, I, within minutes. I mean, we were real close to the emergency clinic. So. <laughs> Tight. It happened so darn quick and it was a fluke because the dog she got an argument with is not a mean dog. You know, it was over food. And I was standing there and it just boom. No matter how careful you are with your animals, things can still happen. So I feel really guilty. Really guilty. But I, I things happen. She's doing well. So, that aside now, I'm gonna calm down. Get a little break here. So we're going down to get the stitches out. And so far it's healed up great. No infection. The swelling's gone down and it looks really good. And then Tuesday, come back home here and then that's my day to care of my eyes. I get shots in both eyes particular medicine that he's been doing. The generic one did not work. 
and then the very expensive one still isn't working. I have macular degeneration. For those who know about that, it's where you lose your center vision in your eye back in your center vision. I do know the technical words for this. I just can't think. But anyways, what happens is that you have bleeds and it causes scar tissue and destroys your center vision where you can go legally blind. Okay. So we're finding that. And tomorrow I'm getting a new medication, new drug that just came out about a month ago or a little over a month ago. So it's going to try me on that. Cross your fingers that works because you know my eyesight's getting worse and worse slowly he is keeping it mm, kind of under control but not not really it's still not under control but anyway we're doing that Tuesday and then after that we're gonna hopefully if I'm not uncomfortable sometimes I'm a little uncomfortable when that happens only for a couple of hours and it's only because they freeze my eye and it's, it's that it's not that the shot hurts it doesn't you don't feel it's just the thoughts of it anyway I want to go Christmas shopping go apart with Sam's at least get it started on it so that's my plans for Tuesday because Wednesday if I feel like it and everything's going good here in the home front I'm gonna go downstate either in the afternoon to my daughter's for Thanksgiving if I don't go Wednesday, I'll for sure we'll go Thursday, providing the weather is good. I don't think we're having snow. That's, that's if I feel okay, mentally, you know what I mean? I have about some, I have a really bad case of depression. And, and of course, that kind of made me way go get talking. <laughs> and that incident made it worse. So, I'm trying to do things that make me happy. So, we'll see how I feel. Okay, next, we got that on. I don't use any powder. I used to. In the, I can in the summer, but in the winter, in don't want to. Oh boy, the neighbor just fired up his vacuum for the leaves. You, you think he would put on a sweeper where it's quieter. No, he's got a vacuum, so that's what you hear. And I'm just starting this and I don't want to quit. I don't want to go around with just partial makeup on. <sighs> Sorry about that. I have a little music in the background from, from YouTube. I don't know if you can hear it. If not, I'll try to edit out what I can and put music in. I did go to Sephora during their VIP 20, I didn't get 20, that's Rouge, 15% sale for me. And then I finally got some Fenty sticks. I've been wanting to try them. And I had like I'm finding the shade I wanted. This is a highlighter. It's really pretty. I did like the color, but I don't wear it as a highlighter. I wear it as a blush because it's real pinky. And this is for medium skin tone. But I have lots of other highlighters, the other colors, and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And then this is the under eye or whatever, the lighter cream. I use that for foundation because it's too dark for, you know, to brighten me up. But I do, I, that's what I've been using it for. Today I may touch up and then really like this color. This is perfect for me. This is the bronzer. That is in Mocha. I've been using cream, a lot of creams. I'm 69 and I'm finding just that age all of a sudden and too with this heat being on. My skin's so dry, so I use a lot of creams. So those out there who hate creams. Someday you may love them. <laughs> Let's wait to get older. Hopefully you don't have that 
problem, but I do love creams. I'm just gonna do some contouring. This is when I should have went to the basement, but it was so quiet just a few minutes ago when I started this. And I live on top of my neighbors. This is a motor brush. I could figure what am I gonna use this for? So I'm using it for. Trying to hide my neck. Saggy, saggy skin. That's hereditary. I don't sink as much as I sag. I'm, I'm a sagger. Either you're a sinker or a sagger when you age. And I am a sagger. I don't like sinkers or saggers, but you know, it's, it's my body and that's what it's doing. All you can do. Alrighty then, we are going to get on with the program here. I am going to use the highlighter slash blush. I like using it. Sometimes I put it on before my bronzer, but I forgot. Using my Real Techniques foundation brush for my cream blush slash highlighter. Now I'm not really putting this on the apple of my cheeks because I'm going to do some other blush there. So it mainly is where I put my highlighter. But I like it. It makes me have look more rosy and you know, like, like I'm alive. I had this a while and I love it. It's the NARS liquid blush. I got an orgasm. I got that a while back. I actually really like this cream. So a cream. So you guys anxious for Thanksgiving? I'm anxious for the food. It's one thing about moving far away from my kids, which is only like an hour and a half, but with their busy lives that's far away. For them anyways. Um, they don't come here for Thanksgiving. At least they haven't didn't last year and this year they not. Because they have to work the very next day. Early. So I don't get to make Thanksgiving meals anymore. Oh well. I can do it for my husband. I did buy some a little small turkey roast and some vixens. So this weekend we'll have that. It doesn't matter. I miss the old traditions when my parents were alive where all the family got together. I mean, all the nieces and nephews and cousins and, you know, I was, of course, younger and my kids were little more. And, you know, it was good times. So cherish those times because they only come around once. I'm going to do a little highlighter now, and this is by Saint Laurent. I got this in my boxy charm. I'm really dry today. I should have used face oil before I did my creams. I got the box from Fashion Style last month, and I got the Sigma brush. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to use it on this, and this is the Becca powder I got in my Luxy Charm a couple months ago. So, I like it. It feels nice and cool when you put it on. I've had it a couple months, and it used to feel real wet. It doesn't now. So I'll give that dissipates. Putting on some matte paint, really. I fall in love with this product. I like this best for me. It like matches my skin tone perfectly. 
some of the other eye primers would look cakey. This doesn't. All right, we are gonna do Shane Dawson's and Jeffree Star's collab, Conspiracy and Mini Controversy. I like this palette, those palettes. I'm having a hard time with the color story. And I realize the color story is based on Shane's life. So I appreciate that and the colors in themselves are gorgeous. But I have a hard time putting them together. <laughs> so eh, I'm just gonna play around with it. I haven't really used this one hardly at all. Because it really is throwing me off. So here. No, they. <sighs> Jeffrey said he was going to come out with the green, and I read his Instagram. He's also going to bring that out in single. I'm tickled because I was so disappointed when they took that green out. I love green eyeshadow. Love, love. And this would have made that palette. He's going to take out Cry on My Couch in the mini palette starting next May, March or May, uh, which is a very light color, which is a cream. Here. Nice and pigmented. <laughs> okay, I'm going for the purples talk myself into it. I'm going to use Expose. I'm going to use Controversy now. Is this color? Okay, we're gonna grab a blending brush. I've got it on there and I gotta blend this off a little bit. I'm gonna use my Mac 217, I believe it is. I'm not put my glasses back on, it is a Mac. Eyeshadow, but it's really showing up. Wow. I haven't used the purple yet, it's not. It's... That's the one who went to say hi. This is Hazel. She's doing good. Yeah, she's Mama's girl. She has a broker spirit. She's really sweet. And, like, she handled this like a trooper. It's her mama that's the best case. So anyway, I wanted to show it to you if, um, sorry if you didn't want to see it. <laughs> but uh, things happen and she's fine, she's healthy, alive, thank God. So anyway, say bye baby, say, say hi and bye. Makes the cutest noises. All right, I go see your brother, your sisters. She has no brothers, just sisters. I have all girl, girl pets. <laughs> I don't know why. I had a boy pet, but he's no longer with us. A little toy poodle. Okay, that is my video. Oh, I had to stop. The noise outdoors was just getting to me. I was getting a little irritated. <laughs> so I went ahead and finished my makeup. Sorry. I have a hard time doing these get ready with me. I'm just so picky. I need to do them downstairs so I don't have this problem again. Next time I try to do it, I do a better job. 
talk a little more. I'm just still not with it, gir girls and boys. I'm just not with it. <sighs> but brighter days are to come. <laughs> All right, I hope this video finds you well and happy. Okay. Rosie wanted to say hi too, because it's her sister. Say hi. I say hi, Rosie. Oh, by the way, the dog, she got an argument with was not one of mine. It was another dog. So, she's not in a bad environment. It's just a situation where I thought was safe and wasn't. So, like I guess I, I blame myself. Hard lesson. But anyway, I want to remind everyone who's not subscribed to please subscribe. I mean, why not? You might as well. I'm not going to hurt you. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel. I keep saying that. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Smash that bell. Click it, whatever. So you'll be notified when I have another video up. And make sure you do. They have a drop down box that tells you you want to be notified all the time, sometime, and another time. Please put it all the time, and if you don't care what I talk about, you can always click off and like this video. And if you don't like it, I know I won't take that personal. I'll take that as if maybe you were upset about the doggy. Are they doing a crappy job to get ready with me? That's okay, because I know it. But also comment and share. Well, I think I want you to share. Do I want you to share this one? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. You don't have to share this one, okay? I'm going to do another one here shortly. It's going to be my Luxury Diva unboxing. Much more upbeat, fun. I just mainly wanted to do this to kind of update you why I've been depressed. So, that being said, I'm going to wish you all farewell and happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you real soon bye and I got a nice big fat nose my daddy gave that to me so I love it it's my dad's nose it's a part of him but I'm trying to learn how to contour my nose not good at it yet. Husband says, there's, there's a dart mark on your nose. You, you missed the spot. I'm going, it's supposed to be there. Man, at least my head's on. My truck just sped by. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day today, and everyone's coming alive. Foundation blood. I've been using. Ah! <laughs> and I've been not like really baking, but just a little bit of powder. So if I do have to fix it, I can hopefully sweep it off. I am not a pro at this, guys. I just wing it. <laughs> Here comes the lawnmower, our lawn sweeper.